Hello, I'm Samantha Norman. This is my novel. It's called Winter Siege, and you're watching Book Zone. The book is about, well, it's set in the anarchy um, during the, the kind of the first English Civil War um, between Stephen and Matilda. And it was about the accession after Henry I died. Who's going to take over? Was it going to be his daughter Matilda, the Empress Matilda, or his nephew Stephen? And so there's a huge war. And the, the country was completely ravaged. I mean, people were divided up. There was a, a massive sort of carnage, basically, for years and years and years. And my novel is set within that period, and it's about um, the rape of a, a girl, and it's, it's kind of her story. And my lead character is wonderful. She's a little girl called M, who eventually comes to be known as Penda who is brutally raped by an evil monk um, in the Fens during this dreadful war where lots of atrocious things happen. And she gets saved, rather reluctantly though, by a mercenary um, called Gwil. And it's about their relationship and about how they find safety or not. This is really my half of a novel because my mother was um, a very successful historical thriller writer called Ariana Franklin, and she died three years ago, halfway through a novel. And I managed to get the commission to, to finish it, which was extraordinary. I mean, for, for many reasons, because partly because I'd always wanted to write, but never really had an excuse um, to do it, or never got round to it. And also because it was incredibly cathartic, because she and I were really close, but it meant that the, the year after she died, when I was actually, you know, finishing the book or, you know, writing my half of it, I was kind of, it was like sitting with her, I was, you know, inhabiting her world, her head almost. You know, it was sort of beat conventional grieving because I was able to, it was something I could do for her, um, you know, even though she, she wasn't around anymore. Something she'd always wanted me to do, she'd always wanted me to write. It's interesting about, about you know, how much I wrote uh, or how much my mother wrote. I mean, she's, she started it, so the beginning is very much hers. But it's kind of a mishmash. The interesting thing is, I, I think a lot of people say they can't... Uh, I write very like her. I mean, she, she taught me to write when I was a, a journalist. She, she taught me how to write. So inevitably, I have her style in my blood, I guess. I hope. Um, so it's hard to tell, you know, which bits of mine. But... It is a mishmash. I mean, I've used bits of hers in, in the sort of later parts of the book and bits of me in the earlier parts of the book. There is a point at which I take over the story, though, and, the, and I take over the plot, and it'd be quite interesting to know if people can work that one out. OK, well, this is where I did all my writing um, for the book and, and also a lot of the research, because research is crucial. You can't take anything for granted, especially not about the 12th century. For instance, if you wanted to write a, a pastoral scene, you can't have rabbits gambling around because there were no rabbits in England in the 12th century. So all that kind of thing you have to double check. Winter Siege is a standalone novel that she just was writing because I guess she was fascinated by that slightly earlier period than the one she was used to. So next I am writing the continuation of the series, the Mistress of the Art of Death series that she was in the middle of, um, um, which was so popular. <laughs>